citizens. I want everyone around the world to put your hands together right now because God and God alone is worthy of our praise. Amen. Here we go. Every praise. Every word of worship.
Boys and girls, welcome to Bethel Online Worship. We have graduation this week. All the first, third, fifth graders, you guys grew and learned so much over the past two years. We are so excited to send you off and see you continue to grow in Jesus Christ in your next department. Today, we will learn about when Jesus spoke in parables. What are parables? Let's learn more in today's Bible story. passage comes from Matthew chapter 13 verse 44 to 45. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Amen. One day, Jesus went out and sat by the Sea of Galilee. Large crowds of people gathered around him, like always. So he got into a boat and sat down. All the people stood on the shore, and Jesus started to teach them on the boat. Jesus told the people parables, which are stories, to teach them about the kingdom of God. Jesus' disciples asked him, why do you teach in parables? Jesus answered, Not everyone will understand the hidden truths about the kingdom of heaven. Jesus reminded them about some of the words spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Some people look, but they do not see. They hear, but they do not listen or understand. Jesus made these prophecies come true. Jesus said, You are blessed because you do understand. There are some amazing hidden truths we can find in the parables, so it is important to find the true meaning in them. Some people will understand, but not everyone will. So listen carefully. Jesus told this parable to them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a man planted in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but it grows taller than the garden plants. It becomes a tree and the birds come and build nests in its branches. Do you know how small a mustard seed is? It is so tiny, but it grows taller than other plants and eventually becomes a big tree. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven or yeast that a woman mixed into 50 pounds of flour. The leaven makes the dough rise. It plays a very important role in making bread, even if it's a small amount. What are the hidden truths in these two parables? In God's kingdom, even when we have faith as small as a mustard seed or yeast, God can use our faith for great things. God said we can even move mountains with our faith. That's how powerful our faith can be, even it may be small. Jesus told another parable, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field that a man found. When he found it, he reburied it, and then he sold everything he had and bought that field. What would you do if you find treasure buried in a field? You would pay all the money you have to buy it, right? Then Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a man in search of the pearls. When he found one priceless pearl, he went and sold everything he had and bought it. What are the hidden truths in these two parables? In this world we are living in, God's kingdom is like a hidden treasure or a precious pearl that people haven't found yet. People don't know how good and amazing it is to belong in God's kingdom. That's why we need to share with others about the goodness of God and His kingdom. Finally, Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a large net thrown into the sea. It collected every kind of fish, and when it was full, the fishermen dragged it ashore, sat down, and gathered only the good fish into containers, but they threw out the worthless ones. This parable means that we need to be set apart from the world and live out a good Christian life. Jesus said at the end of time, God will separate people who trust in Him from those who don't. When Jesus finished teaching the crowds, He left that place and went to Nazareth. Christ's Connection 
Boys and girls, do you remember that Jesus promised us that He will prepare a home for us in heaven? So while we wait for Jesus to return, we need to remember that our mission in this world is to share about our King Jesus. Let us live out a good Christian life and be a good example for others. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for teaching us the secrets of your kingdom through these parables. Help us to be set apart from this world so that your works will be revealed through our lives. We love you and we praise you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. <laughs>